Hey guys, what's up? It's Uncle Zunky, and this is a guide on the Warpriest armor of Zimrak and Sarah Doman. There are also two other kinds of Warpriest armor of Armadil and Bandos, but the Zamorak and Sarah Doman ones are better, and I'll be explaining why that is. Um, and I'll also be showing you guys how to get this armor if you don't have it yet. Um, so first of all, what you need is, if you have not done either World Event 1 and World Event 2, uh, during those World Events you could buy the armor, and that also gives you some advantages later on, and I'll talk about those, but first of all, let's uh, check out the stats on these armors. So I have the War Priest of Zamorak here, I also have full War Priest of Ceridoman, I just like how this one looks a bit better. So looking at the stats of the War Priest armor, um, you get... 2,094 defense uh, for the whole thing, and 7,560 life points for the whole thing. And this is actually not as good as, for example, Bandos armor, or any of the level 70 God Wars dungeon armors. You might be thinking, well, the defense on this is not great. Um, what is so good about this armor? The reason why it's good is it's a type hybrid armor. Um, what that means is that you can use all the combat styles with it, and it will not decrease your accuracy, and it also gives 100% of its defense to all combat styles. How armor works in War RuneScape 3 is um, if you are wearing a melee armor, and you're fighting someone that uses ranged, your armor will give 100% of its defense abilities against it. Um, if you're fighting someone that uses melee, your armor will give 66% of its defense against it. Um, so, for example, if your armor had... If your armor piece was a melee piece and it gave 100 defense and someone was using melee, it would only give 66 defense against melee. Um, and if you're wearing melee armor and someone is using magic against you, it gives no defense at all. Um, so where this can come into problems is when you are wearing melee armor and fighting a monster that uses magic as you have no defense. And you can't wear... Uh, for example, range armor that gives great magic defense because the range armor reduces your melee accuracy. This armor, however, gives defense against all combat styles and does not reduce your melee accuracy. So if you want to go Drygore, a monster that uses magic, um, you can do this in this armor. You will still have uh, some defense. It's not an incredible defense, but it's some. Um, and you will not reduce your accuracy with the Drygores. So that's why this armor is so good. Also, if you wear three pieces or more, uh, each piece gives a 1% chance to deflect all damage. Well, 90% of the damage. Um, so if you wear all six pieces of the War Priest, you have a 6% chance to reduce 90% of the damage that is coming towards you. So if you are at QBD and you got hit for a 1,000 and this um, special effect activated, you would only be hit for a 100. Um, but I, it only works when you're wearing at least three pieces of the armor. What I usually wear is the top, the bottom, and the gloves, just so I can have at least some of this set effect. I don't bother with the helm, the boots, and the cape, because I'm almost always slain, so I'll wear a slayer helm, I wear a completionist cape, and I wear uh, rage fire boots. So that's my usual setup. So I'm going to show you guys how to get this armor. Um, the best way to get this armor, I can say, is by killing the bosses themselves, as the boss minions uh, in God Wars have a very high drop rate of this armor. I got um, the full set of Ceridoman in just one day of killing Ceridoman, and it didn't take that long. It was about maybe six or seven hours, and I got um, all of the Zamorak just from doing my Zamorak Slayer tasks, uh, killing the Zami boss. But anyway, um, we're going to head up to God Wars, and I'll show you uh, other ways to get this armor. So we are now in the God Wars dungeon, and even though you can kill Bandos and Armadil minions and get drops, the Bandos and Armadil uh, sets of the War Priest is not as good. They have a different effect. Basically what they do is they have like a chance to save you adrenaline, something like that. I'm not 100% sure on how it works, but it's pretty much useless, so you really want the Zamorak or Ceridoman. Um, as these ones have a better effect, and I forgot to bring a ring, but oh well. So you want to kill either Zamorakian or Ceridoman minions. Um, what I would recommend is just to kill the warriors. The Zamorak fortress is up there. You can just jump across the bridge and kill some warriors. Or you can come down here and, again, just kill some Ceridoman warriors. Spiritual warriors, as they're called. Um, I would recommend to kill these because they have quite low defense. You can just kind of tear through them. Um, if you are a low defense yourself, you want to bring magic. Uh, to kill these things, and you want to stun them with the uh, ability um, impact. And what that will do is they'll keep them from coming over and hitting you. So you can just stun them and hit them, and uh, they'll just stand in one place while you mage away at them. And just remember to bring some god protection. Um, I have Vertis gloves on, which give me protection against all the monsters in the dungeon. 
Uh, if you don't have a next item, that's fine. You can just bring uh, a Ceridoman item and a Zamorak item and just run down to this area because there's only Ceridoman and Zamorak creatures. Uh, so you don't even need an Armadillo or Bandos item because those monsters will not hit you. So you will just want to camp away at these warriors. Uh, this does take quite a bit longer to achieve all the war priest because these guys um, drop all of the war priest pieces but it's extremely rare from these unless you have done the world event. Um, if you did the world event and you bought war priest armor and you lost it through dying or so you can come back and you can kill these monsters and you will have a much much better chance of getting it as a drop. Um, so if you lost your war priest you can always come back and get it. Um, it doesn't count if you got War Priest as a drop, though, only if you did the World Event. So anyway, I can hear this can take anywhere from 10 to 20 hours. It really just depends on your luck. Um, but it is much faster to get the uh, War Priest as drops from the band, you know, the uh, Ceridoman or Zamorak bosses themselves, as the minions of those bosses have a pretty high drop rate. So that's where I'd recommend to do it. But if you don't have the stats to camp the bosses, uh, you can always try this method as well. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I will have links uh, in the description to my Ceridoman guide and to my Zamorak guide. So if you're interested on fighting those, uh, check those out. But anyway, that's about all for this video. Hopefully it helped, and see you around.